Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to create this window dynamic block which you can stretch on either direction and also vertically and also we have midpoint stretch and I also have added rotation action to the block and we are going to use this dynamic block as a reference which we have created in the previous tutorial if you haven't watched it yet. I put the link in the description. Let's get started, guys. I'll switch to model space. I'll move this aside. Type UN to change the units to feet and inches. I have already changed it. So, this is the settings. Then type REC. Uh, before we do that, uh, let me copy this over right here. Select rectangle, draw a rectangle three feet by four feet. Now offset the rectangle by two inch. Then draw a polyline at the midpoint. Offset the polyline by one inch and trim the lines. One more at the bottom. Okay. As you can see, all the lines are now, uh, you know, separate lines. To create a uh, continuous line, select all the elements. Type J. Enter. So now we have nice rectangles. Okay. Uh, to create the inner frame, I'm gonna offset the rectangle by uh, 1.5 inch. Sorry, 1.5 inch. Yeah. Okay. So uh, for a better visual understanding, I'm gonna change this rectangle's color to something like this yeah if you want to use the same color then it's, it's 30 yeah for the inner uh you know window frames i always select the darker color uh, let's select two fight okay it's looking good and now uh, our door frames and uh the shutters are ready uh, it's time to create the shadows to create the shadow go to port uh, i mean use polyline and rotate the polyline by minus 45 degree in good copy that over to your window which is right over here and rotate this now by 270 degree copy the line and paste it i mean uh, paste it right over here okay uh, now draw XL line, vertical line, select the intersection point, one right here and one right here. Okay. Now we have the uh, kind of key to start or you know, define our shadow. So go to polyline. And draw the shadow boundary. So to close the polyline, type C enter. Draw the inner shadow. Okay. And now we can delete the gate lines. This is our inner shadow and this will be our window frame shadow. Okay, uh, type hash to solid hash these shadows uh, and increase the transparency to 80. Select the first one, hit enter. Again, go to hash command and this time change the transparency to 90. Select the second one. 
I'm going to match property uh, these boundaries to match the hatch color. Select both and shadows and copy it right over here. And make sure you select all the rectangles and bring them forward. That's looking good. Let's switch to our layout space or type of space. Yeah, I think we are in the right shape. Okay. Our windows are ready and I think uh, we can now start creating the dynamic block. Select all the elements. Type B to create the block. Specify the name however you want. I'm going to call this one Why not window? Pick the base point and make sure that you enable open in block editor to directly open in the block editor and click OK. okay. Now we are in the block editor. Switch to parameters. First thing I'm going to add point at the midpoint. So we'll use this to, uh, you know, kind of uh, stretch the middle uh, frame. Then select linear parameter and specify the horizontal distance. Press enter to repeat the linear parameter and this time specify the vertical distance. Okay, and what next? Uh, rectangle. I mean, sorry, rotate. Specify the base point, and then where can I pick the second point? Uh, be right over. I'll pick at the top. Uh, vertical point here. Yeah. Uh, I'll specify somewhere right here. Okay. And yeah, everything is looking good. What else? Okay, so if you, when you stretch the window uh, on the left side, uh, the base point that we have you know, uh, uh, specified when we create the block will not stretch along. So in order to fix that, you need to create a duplicate base point and include that in the selection set. So so that when you stretch the window, the base point will also you know stretch along along the door frame or boundary yeah. okay so as you can see now the base point and the uh, grip is overlapping on each other so i'm going to select distance one and no uh, let's create new distance delete the distance one go to parameters select linear and this time i'm going to select the midpoint Okay, looking good. Uh, now switch to actions. First thing first, select stretch. And now select the position one. Specify the stretch frame. Select everything inside the frame except the windows outer boundary. Make sure that you do not select this outer boundary. Otherwise, the dynamic block will not work. Press enter. Okay. Press enter again to repeat stretch action. This time select distance one. Specify the first point. We draw a rectangle around distance two. Because if we if we stretch the window on the right side, we want this distance two grip also to move along with this grip so that uh, to do that we need to include that in the selection set so draw frame uh, you know, including the distance to parameters as well okay now select all the elements and distance to parameter press enter press enter again to repeat stretch parameter select distance one specify the point draw a rectangle and select all the elements including the parameters 
which are angle and the base point. Press enter again. Okay, so you can see we haven't assigned actions to distance form and rotate. We can find it out uh, by, you know, uh, with this explanation symbol. Yeah. Okay, so press enter again for stretch actions, select distance to specify the point, draw a rectangle at the top, and select everything inside the, inside the frame. Yeah. Uh, okay, what else? Okay, so we are still uh, seeing this uh, in an alert because we have grip, we have two grips for this particular parameter. So to edit that, select the parameter and scroll down to the bottom of the properties. Change number of grips to one. Yeah. Okay, so we only have rotation. Select rotate action. Select rotate parameter and select everything in the model space because when we rotate, we want everything to rotate in the same direction. Select everything, hit enter. Before I close edit block, I'm going to test the block. To test the block, click this block at the top left corner. Here is our block. Okay, let's test this. Okay, we can stretch on the left side and right side without any problem. We can stretch vertically as well. We can also move the middle frame however you want. Okay, I can notice some problem over here. Okay, we'll fix that later. Before that, I want to also test our rotate action. Yep, this is looking good. And as you can see, when we stretch, our base point is also moving along. That's fine. Let's fix this. Close the test block. Okay, um, right click. On the stretch action, go to modify the selection set, draw the rectangle again. Okay, as you can see, we didn't uh, select the shadows. So select the shadows, hit enter. Again, go to test block. Good. Now everything is working fine. We'll close and exit out of text block. And also close block editor. Save the changes. Okay. Window is really looking good. Let's test one last time before we Okay, perfect. Everything is looking good. Uh, before we uh, say goodbye, I want to show you this particular block over here. So if you want to create a block similar to this for your four plans and uh, or for anything else, please do not forget to check the link in the description below. This block also has tags, so you can directly edit the tag or change the tag values directly yeah so thank you so much guys for joining me today i hope you enjoyed it and if you want to see more dynamic blocks tutorials or any any other tutorials uh, please do let me know in the comment section below and until i meet you next time stay safe and stay healthy cheers